Hello developers, we are in the part 6 video of AdMom Ads integration in Android app. In this video, I will explain the implementation of rewarded ads in Android app. AdMom rewarded ads are full screen video ads, image ads or interactive ads such as playable ads or surveys. These rewarded ads are shown to users in exchange for a reward such as an extra life or in-app currency. Unlike traditional ad models that rely on a push strategy where developers decide when to show a user an ad, rewarded ads follow a pull strategy where users choose when to watch an ad. This puts the user in control of their in-app experience. But when you are thinking about when and where to place in-app video ads, consider what's most important to your users. If you show rewarded video ads to app users at the right time, for example to help users unlock features or progress to the next level, they may be more likely to engage with those ads and to keep using your app afterward. Means the rewarded ad generally create a better retention and click through rate which leads to a higher revenue. Many developers are having a misconception on rewarded ads saying rewarded ads are best suitable for gaming apps only. Like user get extra points or free lives or move to next level in exchange for watching an ad. But this is not correct. The rewarded ads can be used in non-gaming apps also. You can include them in news, education, entertainment and social apps also. But you need to carefully analyze what rewards do users find valuable. For example, unlocking the premium content, extending the free trial period or time limited access to selected paid features etc. These are the examples where you can use the rewarded ads in non-gaming apps. If you need more information on this topic, you can watch this ad mob video. They have explained clearly how rewarded ads can help non-gaming apps. I will give this link in the description box. Now we understood the concept of rewarded ads, but before implementing the ads, we must know the rewarded ad policies as well. So please go through this page carefully, read these rewards requirements and implementation requirements before start integrating rewarded ads in your app. If you miss to follow these guidelines, your app might face the policy violation issues which results in app suspension on Play Store. Okay, now let's start the implementation of rewarded ads. The first step in the implementation is creating the ad unit ID. Log into your AdMob account, select the app from apps menu, go to add units, here click on add ad unit. We are implementing rewarded ads, so select rewarded ad format. Give the ad unit name. As I said in my previous videos, keep the ad unit name unique to identify and analyze the ad performance later. So the best practice is give the ad format name and also the activity or the feature where you are displaying the ad. Okay, the reward settings. This defines the reward items such as coins or extra lives and their amounts. What you are giving to your users by watching this rewarded ad. Okay, now click on create ad unit. Ad unit successfully created. This is the rewarded ad unit ID. Now click on done. Yes, the rewarded ad unit was created. Now let's go to the second step. Implementation of rewarded ad in the Android app. Go to this developer page and complete the prerequisites. Make sure you configured your app with all these initial settings like adding these Google and Maven central repositories in settings.gradle file, adding the Google mobile ads SDK latest version in modules build.gradle file, adding the AdMob application ID in Android manifest file and initializing the mobile ads SDK in the first activity in your app. If you have any doubt, you can refer to my AdMob implementation part 1 video, I have explained clearly. So once the configuration is done, now first decide what reward is beneficial for the user in exchange of watching an ad. Let me explain, this is my app. It is a free app and contains ads. 
Here on clicking this share option, user can share this translation. I am giving this for free, but if you are unlocking such feature only in your paid app or you have provided it as in-app purchase feature, then you give this feature access for watching a rewarded ad. But as explained in the implementation requirements, the app publishers must provide clear, accurate and conspicuous disclosure of the actions required and rewards offered prior to each instance of rewarded ads being presented. Means you should clearly describe the action or reward provided to the user for watching the full screen ad. For that, you have to show a pop-up message like this and let the user decide whether to watch the ad for that reward or not. Okay, let me show you how to implement this pop-up first. Go to the activity where you are implementing the rewarded ad. This is the share option logic. On clicking the share button, I am sharing the translation content. But now on clicking the share button, we have to show the pop-up. For that, create a method called show reward pop-up. Here I am creating a simple alert dialog. If you want, you can create a custom dialog also based on your app requirements. Okay, alert dialog builder instance created. Now quickly set the required items to the alert dialog. Set icon, my app icon, set title as share translation here i am giving the hard coded text but you can add them in strings.xml file next set message enjoy one time premium access watch full ad to share the translation so while giving the message be clear on what reward you are going to give to the user okay next set cancelable false set positive button watch now with dialog on click listener and set negative button if this is a premium feature then you can say unlock premium with dialog on click listener or else you can just say no okay finally show the alert okay we have created a pop-up alert now call this method on clicking the share button let's run the app and see Okay, translate some text. Now click on share. Yes, the alert message is shown. Enjoy one time premium access, watch full ad to share the translation. Now, if the user feels this is worth watching an ad, then he will click watch now option. Our user can unlock premium or you can give one more option to simply close this pop-up. Okay, now let's write the actual code to show the rewarded ad on clicking the watch now option. First create a method to load the rewarded ad. This implementation is similar to interstitial ad implementation. Create an ad request object. Call rewarded ad dot load. Pass the values to the load parameters get context add unit id always add the test add unit id while implementing go to the rewarded ad documentation here they have mentioned the dedicated test add unit id for rewarded ads i will give this add unit id and also this documentation page link in the description box for your reference we need to copy the test id in the code or in the resource file Create a new string resource test add unit id rewarded and copy this test add unit id here. And also create a string resource for the actual rewarded add unit id created in admob account. Copy this rewarded add unit id and paste it here. Now pass the test add unit id to the load method. Next pass the add request object and the new rewarded add load callback method. Select both the methods and click OK. Now create a rewarded add variable. 
and assign it to null on add fail to load method and take this add object on add loaded method. So, load rewarded add method is done. Now, create an another method to show the add. In this method, first check if the rewarded add is loaded. If rewarded add not null, then we have to show the add. But before showing the add, set the full screen content callback methods. Select all these methods. Click OK. Now set the rewarded add value null inside on add dismissed full screen content callback method and also on add fail to show method. Now finally call the rewarded add dot show method. Pass the activity or content and new on user earned reward listener callback. And this method on user earned reward will be called once the user has watched the complete ad. Here you need to write the logic for your reward. What you are supposed to give. This reward item is what was set on the ad mob while creating the rewarded ad unit. So here I am calling my share text method on completion of rewarded ad. Yes, load ad and show ad methods are created. Now check when to call this load rewarded ad. You can call this when user click on that particular option or inside on create method also. I am calling it inside on view created because this is my fragment after loading the interstitial ad. If you think calling all these ad load methods inside on create will delay displaying your actual activity content then you can take a call on when to load this rewarded ad. Ok, now on clicking the share button we are showing the pop up and on clicking the watch now button on pop up we will have to show the ad. Show reward ad. And once the full ad is seen by the user, then share the translation text. Yes, the implementation is done. Now the next step is testing. Run the app. Ok, now click share. Rewarded pop-up is displayed. Click on watch now, add is displayed. Here you can see the time remaining. Oh, on the add itself, the share screen is displayed. Means user has to close the ad manually after gaining the reward. So on closing the ad, we need to give the reward. So here we will just show a toast message to the user saying reward was granted and now he can share the translation. And on closing the ad, we will call the share text method and also load the next rewarded ad. Ok, now let's check the app. Click on share, watch now. Ok, reward granted. Close the ad. Share feature is unlocked. Yes, hope you understood how to implement rewarded ad. Decide best place to show the ad. So with just three methods, show reward pop-up, load the rewarded ad and show the rewarded ad, we can handle rewarded ads. Now let's test the real rewarded ads on the device. Change the ad unit ID to the actual ad unit ID. Pair the device over Wi-Fi. The real ads can't be tested on emulator because emulator is considered as a test device by default. So even with the real ad unit ID, you get test ads only on emulator. So we are testing the ads on the device. Ok, my device is connected. 
You can watch this video to know how to connect the device over Wi-Fi. Now go to device manager. Check whether the physical device mirroring is enabled to show the device screen in Android Studio. If you have any doubt on physical device mirroring, you can watch this video. I will give all these videos links in the description box. Okay, now running the app on my real device. App was installed onto the device. Okay, translate some text. Click on share. Select watch now. Yes, reward in 19 seconds means 20 seconds ad is displayed. This reward duration can be any duration between 5 to 30 seconds depending on the creative. Okay, reward was granted. Close the ad. Share option is unlocked. So, just be creative. Give the best reward to the user for watching the ad to retain the users and also to improve the ad revenue. Finally, use only the test ad unit ID while developing, debugging and testing the app and update it to real ad unit ID while publishing the app to Play Store. Hope this video was clear enough to integrate the rewarded ads in your app. If you think this video was helpful, Please comment, like the video and subscribe to IRAKA Tech Solutions. Thank you.